Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Submerged Hidden Depths. A glorious sequel developed and published by Uppercut Games, and is usually available for £24.99. But always look out for a cheeky sale, and hope the Game Pass gods allow it to go on there one day. So we play as Miku and Taku, uh, from the... Uh, Yes, exactly the same kids from the first one. Two kids that somehow either survive another global warming attack or bomb or lot of water death. I don't know, but these are the only two. And as we explore, we see lots of, I, I suppose, tree people, I assume, who didn't make it when the water bomb dropped. Uh, either way, it's a stunning looking game and it is a breathtakingly beautiful one to play too. Now, as for achievements, uh, they're kind of very much like the first one. It is rather collectible heavy, and this is where you will be getting the majority of the achievements. So we need to collect all landmarks, lookouts, relics, boat boosts, styles, flowers, and diaries. Yes, it is a ridiculous amount, but hopefully I've paced the video well enough so you can easily keep up and enjoy. Overall, you should be able to keep pace with the guide, which means we can get this done within three to four hours, but it could maybe be that little bit longer, but not too much. So, with all that being said then, we can now begin. Now, one thing I should mention, for whatever particular reason, I don't know if it's a bug, but you are going to hear no in-game sound throughout the entirety of the game. I don't know why, I uninstalled it and reinstalled it, I quit the game out, I heavy resetted the Xbox, but for some reason, all I got was the vibrations on my controller with no actual in-game sound. So, um, if that's where you're wondering where the sound's gone... <laughs> That's where it's gone. I don't know. Don't know if it's a glitch or a bug or what. But let me know if you've had the same sort of situation. Uh, we've got no in-game sound at all. Let me know. And then maybe we can, I don't know, get some money back. That'd be nice. Right, so as we begin then, we're going to follow our little brother. Again, you look around with the right stick, move with the left stick. So just follow Big Dog for now, or Small Fry, we'll call him. Little Small Fry. Obviously, we've got those black manga tentacles just popping up every now and again. We're going to be seeing a lot of them. Uh, but just keep going forward. This is basically our home hub. So our little home base. Uh, so basically, after every... Uh, I don't want to call them missions. Um, but, you know, we'll just call it missions. So after every mission, we will automatically come back here. And, uh, yeah, we will enjoy. So, picking up the seed, we're going to be doing a lot of these. So we're going to pick up this seed, and we're going <laughs> to we're gonna plant it. And hopefully, um, life will grow. There was going to be, like, a pregnant joke in this somewhere, but my head's not, uh, it's, it's not with it, to be honest. Uh, so, we're just going to, again, we're just going to be following our brother. Now, as you can see, those black manga tentacles are going green, which means everybody are happy. Uh, also, what, what I will be doing is just skipping all the cutscenes, so I uh, press the A button and then press the B button to in order to skip that. Um, so yeah, again, you can watch the cutscenes because the story is a very interesting one, but I'm just going to be skipping all cutscenes just for the purpose of the achievements and the time of the guide. So, drive forward with right trigger, drive back with left trigger, left stick of course to move again. Now there's going to be a lot of uh, collectibles and things we will be trying to find in the water. Um, so, uh, press the A button near these ducks, or whatever the hell, pelicans, or whatever the hell they're called first. There was only eight creatures that we had to find in the first game. Now there's 20. Oh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's not too shabby. So, um, yeah, it can be quite easy to get lost on the water, you know, because you're in a boat and it's hard to get lost in the water, you know. Um, but I will try my best to explain exactly where we are. So, we come up to this first building on the right with the old black manga tentacles on the left. Uh, just drive away, press the A button there, and then drive away to pull this schnoz bag down. Come in. Okay, there we go. And then we can simply just drive back to it. And we're going to do some exploring. Now, this is going to be it for the majority of the game. Bit of watering, and then a bit of uh, on-land exploring. Uh, and that's pretty much the basis of the game. So, uh, yeah. So, what we're going to do then, we're going to go to the right first, and... On every main mission with our little, I forget whether this is, I think this is Miku, Ataki, Ataku, I've already forgotten the names. But anyway, with this girl, who is sort of the main of the two characters, the boy's a little weakling, sorry. You need to eat more sandwiches, man. Um, we're going to be collecting nine of these, uh, what look like skulls or something. So here's the second one, just by this yellow 
tube next to the tree people, the old Hitler up tree people. Keep going straight and there's going to be a diary. Now there are 56 of these diaries to collect throughout the entire game. So yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a chunky old collectible boy. Chunkier than my chunky ass gut bag. So uh, press A to go up here onto the rope. Uh, onto the rope, we're going up to the rooftop. Climb, climb, climb. Again, you don't have to do anything. Uh, on the right here is the next diary, by the way. But in terms of climbing and everything, all you got to do is just press the left stick up and to go towards things. And uh, Miku, Taki, whatever bloody name is, do it automatically. The third yacht style piece is found by this black manga type thing again, tentacle thing. And then we can go up the stairs. Hello, Mrs. Tree People. And then there is the fourth. So grab this one. Lots of tree people. Well, they seem to have a good life before they <laughs> before they died. That's it's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, right? Red. So just just keep going around. I mean, a lot of the paths are quite linear, but there are uh, some collectibles that can be easily missed. Um, so we're going to jump down, like there's a bunch of stairs here that we could have easily missed. Grab the diary. This will be the third out of four for this particular area. So yeah, and directly behind you, before going back up the stairs, grab this fifth yacht-style piece from the grass. And I tell you what, she might be living in a rough age, but damn, she got better hair and a better body than I got. I would, I'd probably be one of the dead tree people if I'm, if I'm being perfectly honest. Anyway, going up the stairs, go to the end of this um, particular place here, and then we can automatically climb up on these oh, bookshelves or something. Keep spinning round. Again, if you want to jump across to the other side, you'll have to uh, press down and then keep going to the right. No, we're going down, sorry. Going down first, my apologies. And then we're going to the right. And then as we drop down, you can see a flower that we can collect. Now, there's nine of these flowers as well. <laughs> yeah, we've got a whole lot to collect. But they never it never seems to, as we climb back up the drain pipe, by the way, and this time, we're going to go to the right. Uh, but all these collectibles, they don't actually seem, you know, it doesn't, see, it doesn't get boring. It doesn't get too frustrating, uh, which is always nice, just nice. Uh, press the A button here next to this little contrapment. Old monkey feet girl bear, whatever her name is. Man's got bigger feet than my head. Um, so that bridge goes down. Don't worry, it's not timed or anything. So before you go, come back here and grab the sixth yacht-style piece. All right, go behind the ladder. Go across the board, there's going to be yet another diary. Who's leaving so many diaries about, by the way? I'm confused. Who's going right? Before we all die, let's just hide a couple of pieces and some bunch of diaries for people to read. Why not just give one big one big note and leave it for us? Eh, anyway, we climbed up, <laughs> we've climbed up the ladder, go up the steps here. And, um, ah, as you can see, there is a cheeky, sneaky, hidden yacht piece right there. So make sure to grab that. That should be a 7th and 9. Uh, go behind you. Sort of do a tree. A tree, 60. And there's going to be yacht style piece number 8. These are skulls, by the way. So these are dead things that we're just picking up. Before going up the stairs, and grab your ninth piece um, in, hidden between these barrels and this chest and the old Hitler Nazi um, tree guy. Go back up the stairs, and now we can finally just grab the seeds. And again, as you can see, all the nearby objects will be discovered. So, as soon as you've collected everything, you should see that message. And then we can just crack on. So, this to me just looks like a world's strongest man event, to be honest. And again, she's got better hair than me, better body than me, and she's stronger than me as well. Well, I might as well just not be here right now. Depressingly. So, we're going to go back down the stairs when we have the seed of life. Press A to pop it in. And then, whoop, baby comes out nine months later. And then you have no sleep and your life is ruined. But a baby's smile is worth all of that. Oof, unless it's, you know, one of those babies that has like a big alien head or something. Anyway, we're not here to uh, judge um, babies' looks. All babies are cute, <laughs> of course. So, going down the ladder, not back up the ladder. We go, we're sticking down with the ladder. And this guy died in a hell of a pose, by the way, right up against the wall there. That's interesting. Um, go and grab the seed. Pop it out. Come on then, Tom Stortman. Let's do this. And she, did you see that? She doesn't even need to use it with her hands. That's how strong this chick is. God damn. I'm impressed and jealous. 
So now we can go across the bridge, which we should have lowered earlier on, and we're going to go down the steps. Why, why, why have a lot of these people died up against things? I don't know. But anyway, as you can see, with the seed, you start growing a few more flowers, um, and everyone sort of comes alive before they really die. Right, now we can pop the seed in the hole, and that is the first bit done. We're just going to skip through all the cutscenes, and we're going to basically be back in the Hormuth Hub. Hormuth Hub. So, welcome back to the home hub, but we're not going to be doing much. A lot of genital water or something in that water. Because that's what this whole game is based on. There's basically a monster that doesn't attack you, which will appear later on. Maybe they are, Maybe she's just got a problem and needs to see a doctor, and that's why she's so pissed off. Anyway, press the Y button to get out your telescope. As you can see, there's locations that get added to your map. So if you uh, get out your telescope, look around, um, things get added to your map, collectibles, and etc, etc. But we won't be doing it, you know, for everything, because we'll be there for hours. Uh, so as we get into the boat, go to the left-hand side here, just past the statue or whatever, and here's our first boat collectible, or boat upgrade. So you'll always see what a boat upgrade is, is when you can see sort of the smouldering wreckage of another boat. Uh, so, this is where the game truly now begins. So you can press and hold the left bumper to give yourself a little boost. Uh, but what we can do again, just press the Y button, and we're just going to have a look at a couple of things. We do it for the... For, uh, I'll do it for a little bit at the beginning of the game. Uh, just to show you what to do, just to show you if that's what you prefer. Um, otherwise, we'll normally just crack on and get to uh, certain islands quicker. So, straight ahead. Um, again, just taking a little look. Things will get added automatically to your map as well. So, we're going to this first building, which is basically straight in front of us. And again, old Tacky Macky, whatever her name is, is going to do the old monkey feet. We'll um, climb up. And it's, she's that strong, she literally needs one hand for a rope. I'd literally knock, I'd, I would knock my knob off and I'd, I'd be dead. I'd, I'd be dead by now, I wouldn't even have the opportunity to do this. So anyway, going up both ropes, this is what the lookout towers look like. Again, ten of these throughout the game. Um, so, I mean, you can do it in any particular order if you want to. You could literally just go to each one, try and find each one, but, you know, it might take you a little bit longer. But every time you use a lookout, they will always reveal a couple of items about, so, um, well, there's one. That's, um, that's a landmark that we're going to go to, so, yeah. Oh, it's a fun, fun collectible, and, but it is actually not too bad, because at least the game looks nice. Imagine trying to do this in a 2D pixelated, you know, cheap-ass version game. Jesus Christ. Right, anyway, so again, we're just going to be looking at things, getting a few things just marked on our map. Again, if you want to look at the map, just press the B button, and you'll be able to see where you are and uh, the other things that you've already located, etc, etc. Again, I probably should have used the map a, a lot more than I did through this playthrough, so apologies if you um, would have preferred me to have used the map a little bit more, but I didn't, so sue me. No, please don't sue me, I don't have any money. I've got a tenner. If you want a tenner, and oh, I've got a packet of condoms somewhere, then uh, yeah, that's up to you. No, I don't, I don't actually. Two kids, I've chopped it off. Right, so what we're going to do now is just head basically to the right of where we were. You've got the black tentacles on the left. I assume the tentacles, anyway. And um, we're just going straight, as you can see, what kind of look like ducks or something in the water. Little bobbly lights, that is where we're going. So as we go through the water, I'm just going to try and explain sort of what's around the environment so that you should be at the same point I am. So if I say, oh, look, we've got a big-ass ball bag on the left-hand side, but you're not by a big-ass ball bag, then you probably know that you're in the wrong direction. So just trying to... <laughs> I'll be trying to help you as best as I can with these watery sections because some of them can be a ball... They can be a ball bag. Bit of a ball ache. Stop saying balls. Right, so anyway, let's um, start heading towards the big... Um, yeah, one of the big towns, I suppose, one of the big cities. Again, remember, you can press and hold the left bumper to use the boost. You'll get more boost as we get more boat upgrades. Yep, sadly, you can't build a, a massive hardcore ship. Nothing like that. So, we're just going to go through the left. Uh, well, sort of basically straight on. And as you can see, there's a big building on the left and a boat upgrade. Second boat upgrade right here, so make sure to pick that one up before heading to the right. 
And we've got Big Tower on the right, Waterfall on our left. Wow. Oh man, why'd you go to rain? So basically we are just going straight from here. Now as you'll be able to see, there's like, what kind of looks like sort of fishes jumping out of the water if you want to say that. These are what the relic collectibles look like. So every time you near one of these, just a bit of rapid water or whatever, that means there is a relic collectible about, so you know, you can just grab that one. Again, if you do get stuck or you can't find specifically what you're looking for, use your telescope to sort of um, get them out and then use your map to sort of um, pop yourself where you're supposed to be. So, um, go to the right from there, we're going past the Eiffel Tower, the broken, very much broken Eiffel Tower on the left. And we are heading back into this little towny area. So, yeah, doing it, because that's what we'll be doing, a, a lot of things, a lot, a lot of um, ex exploration on the water and a lot of exploration on the land. So, now we are going to be little boy, Taki Miki, or whatever your bloody name is, and we're just going to keep going straight up for now. Now, his sections are not that long. All he ends up doing is finding one diary because he is weak ass. Although, he does have another, a much better tattoo than I do. So, man, two kids that have nothing but uh, look a lot better than I do. That's depressing. So, as you go up, we're going to press A on the rope. Slide down. Apparently, they have no uh, pain threshold as well because that would have burnt my hands and that would have been me to my death too. Climb up on this uh, bookshelf, these shelves right here, or ledges. Yeah, they're more particularly ledges, aren't they? And we're going to jump down. Going around and around and around and around down. Okay, from here we're going to go um, to the right and up. And to the right and up. And we're going to the sort of right, and here is the first diary. So, for boy, boy... The uh, four diaries, which do, do include, obviously, part of the 56, um, he just has to do these tiny, small sections. So we we will find one diary in, in each of these tiny floor sections, that tiny, you know, tiny sections or whatever. And then Takimiki, where the girl one, um, she'll obviously have the four diaries in one big area. So just in case you're wondering. But for now, we're going to jump back down the couple of ropes, jump back in the boat, and that is our life sorted. We win. Give it. Right, so, um, you can actually head to the Eiffel Tower there and get the second landmark, which um, I don't do yet. And I tell you, it does, it can't, you can easily get lost, that's the problem. Um, now, we can press the A button, directly in front of us is going to be more birds, so that, they're going to be randomly located for you, I think. I'm not too sure, but they could be randomly located for you, but hopefully you will have two out of 20 creatures and the third boat upgrade to the left of where we just seen those other birds on the water. Um, right, so, and like I said, the birds and I think like five of the fish, like the swordfish, puffer fish, etc., they are very common and end up following your boat, but I'll be letting you know as we go along anywhere. So, you should have the second creatures, the third boat upgrade, so now we're going to head back towards the Eiffel Tower. Now we are going to do the landmark Aroni of Life Aroni. Now, if you go ahead and press the Start or Select button, you're going to see this menu. We're going to be getting an achievement, actually, so press left bumper and go over to Styles, and then just change your yacht style to the very first one, and that should unlock the achievement called a Refurbisher. And that's what the other achievements are like. It's literally just like putting a flower in your hair, um, you know, take a quick dump when no one's looking, and then the rest are like collectibles. So they're all easy except for the collectible ones, but there you go. So that should be two out of ten landmarks now. Um, also, if you have a look on your map, every now and again I'll pop up the map just to show and see that you should be on the same amount of collectibles that I am. So I'll be letting you know now and again. Uh, just having a look for a couple more landmarks. Don't think there's anything particular right here for the moment. Um, oh, in fact, there is. Yes, there's this big tree. So that is where one of the seeds are, which of course um, means that Taki Miki Muku Puku, the girl one, old bunch head, that's what she will be going for. So for now, we're just going to head basically directly in front of us where this big black tentacle guy is. Keep on swimming, keep on swimming, swimming, swimming. And god damn, when the boost goes down, we get <laughs> seriously slow.
Now, these boat upgrades might be a little bit tricky to find, to see in the sea, but that is what we're going for then. Now, there is also a, a bunch of creatures here. Ah, there's the boat upgrade. So it's just by the bridge. So we sort of went straight, but if you have a look by the one bridge, as you can see directly in front of us, it's going to be there. There is also a bunch of manta rays uh, swimming, so press the A button on them as well. Like I said, these ones will follow your boat quite a lot. So anytime you see any new creature, just keep spamming the A button. And then, because again, because some of them might be random, you might see one uh, before I do. So if you see any new creature, just spam the A button on it and job done. Again, if you want to see what creatures you've got and that you haven't got, go into the uh, press start or select whatever the hell button that is. And uh, just scroll over to creatures and you'll be able to see what you've got. So, for now we're going to turn around and as you can see there's a big crane in the distance. That is where we are heading. Um, what a boat by the way. This, 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 thing can, this thing can take a spanking. This can think and take a hell of a hit, man. So that is where we're heading for then. So sort of, sort of um, around from the last boat upgrade. Um, and there is going to be another boat upgrade for us in the distance. That's what we're going to go for next. So just by, just sort of to the right of this crane is going to be another one. But for now, we're just going to go to the left of this. And we're going to be grabbing El Relico. And then from here, we can go to the left, and to the left, and we're going to get another landmark, so shove that in your pipe and smoke it. And we're going to pause the game for no particular reason for a second. Okay, there we go, just getting my burns. Right, now what we're going to do is just go straight for now. As you can see, there is a big bunch of crap in the background. So just keep going straight and straight and straight. Oh, damn it, I hate when the boost runs out. It makes me so slow. I tell you what, it kind of makes you feel like before and after you eat the biggest, chunkiest, fattest American buffet you'll ever you'll ever see in your life. You know, the one for $10 and the guys that are in, you know, dun dungarees. And they stay there morning, noon, and night. Yeah, that, that's that's how we feel with the boat. Anyway, we climb up. And we just go in straight across the path for now. Again, there's only sort of one linear path that we're doing. We can actually climb up these flowers. I'll tell you what, people in the Assassin's Creed days, well, they thought they had it hard. These kids don't even complain. They just climb in, doing all types of uh, parkour stuff. Not one complaint. Probably because nobody's trying to stab them to death, which also helps. Now from here, we're just going to go sort of back on ourselves, across to the other side. And we're going to climb up again. So again, these little things can be easily missed, which, uh, you know, which is why I'm here. Uh, we're going to jump down, jump down. And then press the A button here to whap the bridge off. Man, legs look skinny, looks like he's going to pop. And again, we've got, we've got the other Stoughton brother here, Luke Stoughton, who is just, look at that. Not a problem at all. Back pumped, biceps pumped, legs looking skinny. Oh, wait, that's just me. <laughs> Depressing. Right, go to the left with your big seed balls. Pop that in. And then that's actually... Well, it's not a seed, that's just a big rock. But still, fair play. Very impressive for a skinny man like that. We're just going to do some monkey swinging now. And we're going to climb down. Well, I think we're almost uh, to the diary now, which is good. We're going to jump across. And the diary is that right there, directly in front of us. So that is the second one for this. Oh, in fact, that's the first one for this particular reason. D d lots of ones for... Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I already said earlier, didn't I? There's only going to be one diary for little man. Little strong ass man. So climb the rope again. And then we're going to climb up. Jump down, jump down, jump down. Jump down, jump down. And then we are back at the boat, and let's go! And where we go, you ask? Well, we're basically going directly in front of us. As you can see, probably just in the background is a bunch of uh, little fishies jumping out, which means, give me that relic, boy, to the right of us. Stop! There it is, to the right of us. Almost went past it, but me saying stop 
<laughs> well, I'm just very helpful to you, aren't I? So, grab this relic, and then we can move on. So, that should be three out of 20 relics that you've already now got. And then from here, where we're going to go is... Uh, Ignore the arrow which tells us to go down there. We're just going to go this way sort of in between the two buildings with a bunch of trees and a bunch of boxes in it That's the British versus American tea debacle that is I'm going to throw your tea mate because it pissed me off It gave me the <laughs> give me diarrhea Because Americans can't make tea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're probably all pissed off But Americans make tea in the microwave and stuff and that's just weird to me or at least the ones I've seen anyway I'm not saying you're all like that, don't worry. Uh, what we're doing, we're basically... St <laughs> this is the second lookout now. Um, so, just keep going. Keep heading up. Keep heading up. And then interact with the lookout. So, welcome back to the boat. Now what we're going to do is grab another boat upgrade. So from here, we're going to turn directly to our right. And then, as you can see in the distance, it's kind of like a big globe type thing. Now this is where the boat upgrade is. It's just to the right, ever so slightly to the right of where the boat upgrade is. Um, of, of where the globe, as you can see, it's not too far. But make sure to be picking up boat upgrade number 5. Yes, 5 out of 26. And then from here, what we're going to do, we're just going to turn to the left. I do a little bit of an edit here, but we're still at the globe. So what we can do is just go to the left of the globe, go inside the globe. Giggity. And then um, it's another landmark. So being inside someone is another, la uh, something is another landmark. Well done. As long as we don't have to plant our seed while we're inside, then that's all good. Globe can't get pregnant. So anyway, moving on, let us go ever so slightly to the right. Ever so slightly. And there's another relic directly in front of us, as you can see, so make sure to pick this one up. There is also another animal here. Now, again, you might not pick this one up just yet, or you might be at the same point that I am. Hopefully you are. Um, but we, in fact, I actually ended up grabbing the relic first. I think I actually missed this creature. Um, but again, any time you see, because there's, a, I think it's about eight or nine rare creatures that just do one continuous loop around sort of each city. So we, you actually have to go and find them. So if you see anything that's like the beluga whales, squids, sharks, whatever, if you see a fin coming out of that water, make sure to go and grab and press the A button next to that uh, rare whale or rare animal so you don't have to come back and do it later on. I obviously missed my opportunity because I am Dong, but that's fine. I am Mong. So, going to the left, back into the city after we grab that relic. And then just to the left, right there in this sort of greenhouse looking area, that is where we're going next. So, pull off the gate with your hardcore ass boot. Okay, I, I had a weak source rope then. Try it again. My tiny little Stoltman brothers not doing the trick there. Terrible. Terrible. Anyway, uh, now what you can do is just turn around, of course, and drive in, but I reverse like a boss. So here we are onto the next section. So go to the left as you can start. And then just head to the right, and we're going to do some more climbing up. Proper monkey boy style. Then when we get up to the top, we're going to be doing some hop, step, jumping. Sort of frog style. So we're like a kind of monkey looking frog now. 
And then don't go down the stairs yet. We have the rock seed of life to grab just in this little area next to the door. So pick that, pick that one up, Luke Stoltman. There we go. And now we can move on. Right, so funnily enough, not only can he just pick up this massive boulder, you can actually also leap across gaps for some reason, which is just super cute and hardcore. And we're just going to keep up climbing up the steps, climbing up the steps with our massive uh, atlas stone right here. And eventually we can <laughs> place said atlas stone. And bro doesn't need anything, all he's got is fish or water, and that is the diet of life. F uh, rich, uh, fish and a rice cake, that's all he need. The ultimate diet in life. If you know, you know. Uh, the fish, <laughs> fish and a rice cake. Right, so anyway, put, putting the atlas stone down, going across the other side, leaving across the board, and then jumping up to this next section. And then the diary is right in front of us on the table. Pick that one up, and that is going to be the first first slash second one for this area. So with that, we can just now go to the other side, climb down the drain pipes, and head back to El Boat. So let's, it's now time to do some of the most legendarious crashiest boat driving you'll ever do. So what we're going to do then, from here we're just going to turn immediately left and then just go straight on for a bit, past the old ten tentacle manga parts on the right. So just keep going straight for a sec. And as we get to the buildings, look at the arrows. Show the arrows will show you the way for once. So go to the right here where the arrows telling you to go And then we're gonna go immediately right again Past all the American slash British tea boxes in the river And then eventually we will be able to as you can see just above us We're able to somehow attach the rope to the hook at the top there somehow and then just drive forward to pull that down That's perfect. Well done. Well done you Right, drive forward, and let's do a little uh, cheeky section of life now. And I believe this is the first main, uh, well, the second main area after the public library we done earlier on. So, go to the left and climb up. And straight in front of you is the, our first out of nine collectibles. This time it's the triple style piece uh, to grab. So make sure to pick that up before leaping over and leaping over the next gap. Like, lucky you can't die in this game, isn't it? Awesome. Keep going straight and then hop, skip, frog your way up. And do the same over here as well. So to the left and then hop, skip, step. Oh, monkey. Oh, monkey toes. And then we can climb down the ladder. Right, let's see what we're going for next. So press the A button here. Don't get too close because these animals will disappear. But if you just go by them ever so slightly and then press the A button... There is a bunch of land creatures, which was not in the first game. Um, but we will see a lot of these land creatures. So again, don't get too close. Just press the A button when you're ever so slightly near them. And that will count. That should be 4 out of 20 for us now. Um, if not, again, no panics. Because they, they should be easily found at the end of the game anyway is what I do. So, picking up the Atlas Stone. we got Tom Stolman here on the go. And again, there's a lot of these land creatures about anyway, so if you miss the first two there, there's plenty of these frogs at least about. Press the X button to put down said Atlas Stone. And pick up the second out of triple style piece uh, before climbing up on the right. So as we climb up, up and up and up, as we can see we've got something to collect directly in front of us. But first we go into the left and hop skipping over. Press the E button here to um, get this contraption. Again, who's making these contraptions where, like, what kind of house was this? What kind of town was this? Nobody trusted anyone by the looks of things. So we can now jump down once again now that we've basically got the bridge open. Pick up the old uh, Tom Stoltman legendary Atlas Stone. And take a little cheeky walk across. Again, look at that perfect form as well. No back injury, nothing. Yes, perfect. While my back aches just trying to pick up my damn kid. Anyway, going across here and we're going to put the Atlas Stone down. Again, I think I, I think these people, before they all died, had a lot of trust issues or something. Making all these weird contraptions so the other person can get in. Strange. So hop, step, skip, stepping across, go to the right. 
Now we can jump down here. And we can now press the A button. We are not done with this area. We can actually just go in to the main area now. So, <laughs> so after all that, we can now finally begin this section again. Drive away to pull down, reverse back, and get your bun sacks on them's huns. So here we go, let's do this. Couple of frogs there if you uh, didn't get the location creature, the, the creature discovery. Otherwise head to the left and we're going to go up the steps. And we're going to go straight, no we're going up the steps first, sorry, because there is one um, piece. The triple style piece, so that should be three out of nine that you should now have found. And then what we can do is just go to the right as we head down the steps and there's going to be the fourth one directly in front of us in a tent. So pick that one up. Oh, it's a used countdown. What the hell? What happened to the tree people before they died? <laughs> anyway, to the right-hand side steps, and we can climb up this uh, Mr. Pipe. Mr. Dwayne Pipe. I wonder if there's somebody out there actually called Dwayne Pipe. Somebody's parents must have been pissed off. Right, go across the rope. Again, somehow not burning your hands and not complaining about it either, like the majority of uh, game characters. Go across the board. And as you can see, a bit of flashing, that is the seed of life, but for now we're going to go straight uh, past that one. And we're going to go all the way, basically, to the edge. Go down this old Mr. Pipe, Dwayne. And there is going to be another very well-hidden diary uh, that we can grab. So that should be 8 out of 56 diaries in total now. Now, what gets annoying is that every time you collect something, a big thing comes on screen. You can't see where you're going for a second, which is a pain in the ass sometimes. But, you know, it's video games. We all like to be pissed off by video games. Anyway, now we can go back to the tent, pick up the Atlas Seed Stone of Seed Life. And turn, turn, turn the shit around. I said turn that shit around, oh yeah. So now what we can do is actually go past these black manga tentacles now. They all turn green, and they all go, Oh, hello, my friend. Special offer for you. Anyway, we're going to gonna go up the lift. Make sure that you're on the lift um, when you press the A button to go on it. Otherwise, the lift will go up without you, of course. Now you can press the A button to skip if you want. Um, you're, just, you're not seeing an awful lot otherwise, to be honest. So press the A button. We can go into the water. Yeah, what a little jumper. Just fantastic. More frogs about here again if you need the creature location discovered. But past, on the right, past the trees is the fifth triple style piece. And then we can just go back the way we came. Ah, uh, you look depressed. That's what happens when you're dead, I suppose. Oh, he done a Hitler salute. Oh, God. Anyway, climb up. Press the A button to put the seed in. And then nine months later, Oh, <laughs> look at that. Chunky head. Anyway, moving on as soon as we put the seed in. The Atlas Seed, and then we can go down the drain pipe. Whee! My favourite thing. Now we're going to be doing some more monkey stuff. I tell you what, you'd hate it if you got it wrong here, wouldn't you? Jesus Christ, that'd be a backbreaker. Then we can just jump down. More frogs about if you so wish. Go down the steps, go to the right here. And we're going to go to the left. And there is another triple style piece. That should be six out of nine. Now just go and hop over to the other side right here across the gap. And then go to the left again. There's going to be another diary for us to pick up. Ah, oh, such, such fun. I wonder how short this game would be if we didn't have to go and keep g grabbing a lo load of collectibles. Go around to the uh, other side. There's going to be a bunch of birds here. Again, try not to get this one wrong. <laughs> Because if you thought your back would break earlier on, well, death would be easy. <laughs> death would be an easy thing there if you slipped on that. Another diary, uh, sorry, another triple style piece, apologies. That's a 7th out of 9 on the table before uh, hopping over right there and climbing up the old Dwayne pipe. E That's a reverse we because, of course, we're climbing up, not going down. Get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that was terrible too. Right, across the water, hop, more frogs, if you want, but what we're going to do is obviously ignore the frogs, keep going straight, because in this little section there is a little something that we can climb, this little board right on the left hand side, 
Again, this one's very easily missed if you're not paying too much attention. Climb up the old pipe, Dwayne. And now we're going to have a look at somebody's personal diary. So basically straight past the tree. And there it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody took the wiener and balls between their legs and called themselves a woman. <laughs> wow. Nothing wrong with that. If you're a man, you've done that at least twice in your life. At least twice in your life. You have. You, you just have. Whether you were a kid or whether you're a fully grown adult, you've definitely tucked things between your legs and gone, Oh, look at me, I'm a woman. Drunk or sober, doesn't matter. Anyway, we're climbing down. We're now going to go uh, up the steps. <laughs> up the steps right here. Well, us men are a strange breed. I've got, I've got to give that to us. We are. Um, and then what we can do, uh, just <laughs> climb up the drain pipe. Bit of climbing to do, actually. Now, before moving up onto the rope right here, jump down, ignore the rope for now, go around to the right to find the eighth triple style piece out of nine. Nice. Noisy nine. Right, now we can climb up the rope. There we go. And we are coming to the end of this section, eventually. Again, we'll just have to do climb, so climb, go to the right, drop down, you know the, you know the jizz, the, the stuff I mean. Now, it may not look like you can, but you can actually just climb all over the rubble, which is why I struggled for a second there, because I thought you couldn't, but it turns out you can. Jump up, there is our seed, finally, and the ninth the triple style piece is not here yet, so just go ahead and grab the atlas seed stone. Of a life, and now we can actually go through to the old, um, past the old tentacle manga pawn stuff, and now we can grab the last couple of collectibles that we are needing. Oh, remnants, of course. They're not called um, Nazi dead people, tree Nazi dead people. They're called remnants, of course, of course. I'm silly. Go around to the right, ignoring the big main contraption, contraption to grab the. Last diary, and directly behind it, is the last triple style piece as well. So that should be 11 diaries, and that should be now 9 pieces of 9, eventually. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, when you collect all 4 pieces of diary, a bit of conversation goes on, and it's just in your face, and you don't know where you're going, which is obviously not annoying at all, is it? Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, do not do what I do. Go onto the left first before... Uh, pressing the A button. I actually pressed the A button and had to wait like 30 seconds for the lift. It's not long, but god damn it's a minor inconvenience. <laughs> so anyway, when we get to the top, we can now basically end the section. Again, if you want to make sure, press the B button to go onto your map to make sure that you've got four diaries, that you've got one, uh, basically everything. Because um, we're going to put the Atlas Stone down for now. And then eventually... Eventually, we're going to press the... <laughs> we're going to... In fact, we're going to change our haircut. We're going for the triple style to get another achievement. So, just like the boat earlier on, go into style and then um, press the B... Uh, change your hairstyle, get another achievement. Again, you can do this at any point, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, get your triple head style down. And we're actually going for another flower, which is what was taking me so long there. So, apologies about that. Climb down, climb to the right, climb down, climb to the right, until we get to the flower, and climb your ass back up, baby. So again, press the B button on the map to make sure that you've got the four diaries, the nine pieces, the one flower, and the something else that we were going to collect. What was that? Oh no, it's just that, yeah. So, nearby objects, obviously, make sure you've got the four diaries, one flower, and nine pieces. I thought there was another collectible, but there weren't. So, yeah, before you put the seed in, 
So every time you do this, if you go to the cutscene, we automatically go back to the home hub. So make sure that you've got all collectibles to do that, otherwise you just have to go back to the place and have to find that one collectible that you were missing. And that is a bit of a major inconvenience, and it is a pain in the old bumdersnatch. So just make sure that you've got all collectibles in the area before moving on. So every time, just before you put the Atlas Stone Seed in, press the B button, make sure you're all good, stick that shit in the hole, and then pops. Stick your seed into the hole. Hmm. How romantic. Meh. Anyway, we're just going to skip all the cutscenes because we are now good to go for the next area. Right, so before we go to the boat and head back out, we're going to be grabbing another couple of achievements here. So go to the left and up these uh, little sets of steps. And to be fair, they've built quite a home for themselves. It's looking fantastic. Uh, past the tent on the left. And then eventually we're going to get to an area where it's kind of like a little relic area. So that's what we're going for. So it's kind of in the center. I think I probably just went the complete wrong, uh, the complete long way. But, eh, you know, close enough. So here is the relic room. So all you got to do is just place one relic down anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. And that's going to get us the first achievement. There it is. So again, if you want to, you can. Uh, that's the curator achievement. That's for viewing a relic at the home base. So again, push it down. Make sure to press the A button just to view it, just to be double, uh, double checking, doubly sure. Um, now we don't come back here for the rest of the game. This is literally uh, only to get the achievement. So now we can go down. Now what we're going to do is actually put a flower in our hair. Now that we've got a couple of flowers to grab. So go to the right, sort of um, as you exit, back to old Miku Paki Piku. Miku Paku Piku, whatever your bloody name is. And as we go to the left, here is the little flower room right here. So all you got to do is just press the A button once you put a flower down to put a flower in your hair. Decorator. I actually do this one because it's pretty. So anytime you want to get with a respective boyfriend or girlfriend, give them this particular flower and they will be putty in your hands. More dating tips. <laughs> More dating tips at 11. When we all go to bed. <laughs> no, I wouldn't ask me for dating advice, to be honest. So anyway, from here we are in the boat. We're going to go to the right. <laughs> and as we can see, we've got the um, big black tentacle things directly in front of us. What we're going to do is go for another couple of uh, lookouts. We're going to get a couple of uh, locations added to our maps. So do that. So there should be two around here. Two collectibles to grab. So... Go, uh, which one are we going to grab first? So we're going to go straight and we are going to, I think we're going to, yes, we're going to grab the one on the right first. So, again, these ones in this sort of open water can be particularly tricky to find, but as we can see, eh, it looks like I'm having trouble. No, there it is. So just on the left. So if you just keep going straight, as you can see, it's sort of t t the black tentacles whatever they are going to be sort of on the left so make sure to pick up this boat upgrade right here which will be six out of 26 and then what we can do is just completely turn around and go ahead and grab the other rail walk in fact i think i get quite confused at this point <laughs> i do i do get confused and this is what i mean so you can be so easily led astray and so easily confused but in fact we're not going for the relic what we're doing is going straight ahead and as you can see there's sort of this one Random building on his own. So we're just going to stop here and get some more lookouts and everything for now, for a second. So apologies if there are times, by the way, in the videos that I seem confused and seem a bit lost. Um, there are also a couple of dolphins here. So, by the way, every time that we go to a new section, it's definitely worth just keeping a lookout for these common, uh, common fish. You'll get a different one each time. So for now, it's dolphins. The next time will be something else. Uh, but for now... If we turn around and have a look at the light in the distance, that is all I can tell you. That's the way we're going for a second. So we're actually going to stop right around here, get our telescope out with Y, and just have one look around before we just go straight and grab another boat upgrade. So again, apologies that I seem kind of confused at that point. Um, but yeah, so we're all good. So we're just uh, getting a few more locations added to the map. Um... Just before we go straight and grab yet another boat upgrade. Oh, all right, Aroni, mate. 
that seems to be like all we've got for now. So, as you can see, this sort of half collapsed building on the left with a bunch of palm trees in it. Kind of looks like paradise to me, to be honest. Uh, so, that should be on your left. Now, directly in front of us is the not boat upgrade, apologies. It's a relic, though. God damn, so I'm so sorry I just got the last couple of minutes all completely monged and wronged. Right, so what I'm going to do now is go for the dolphin creatures. Now, they can appear anywhere for you. Um, but for me, I sort of go, as you can see, there's the light on the left as we turn around. Big light on the right. There's going to be a whole couple of dolphins here. Like I said, as soon as you see some splash-ins, just go ahead and immediately click on them. And again, this will just save you uh, a whole lot of time later. Um, but for now, like I said, we've come to this building on the right. The dolphins, lucky for me, they come past. Now we're just going to push this Dan. And here we go again then. So, do not go up the steps yet. Go to the left of the steps and interact with the switch. And then, man, this kid really has a cool-ass tattoo. His sister must have done it. That's friggin' awesome. Anyway, back up the steps. Now we can climb up the rope. Pure monkey boy swinging straight at the top. Job done. And then we're just going to go down the rope again. Man, these kids, they're so... They're so cute. I wish I was cute, um, but I'm not. So anyway, go to the right, sort of the right as we got off there, and we're going to do a little bit of climbing. Again, remember, we're only going for one of the diaries, because that's all we can go for. So, swing low, sweet chat. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. That's English. Yeah, the Welsh don't do English, and the English don't do Welsh. But one thing the Welsh and English do together is achievement hunt, and also look for diaries. So here it is on the right, so <laughs> we can always agree on that one. So that should be 12 out of 56 diaries found now, and the one for this particular area, whatever area we're in right now. So let's just jump down the ladder, get back on the boat, and go find some more stuff. Right, time to go for the next lookout then. So we're going to obviously go out of here. Nice, nice and steady does it. You don't want to crash because, man, you'll drown. Big sun in the distance? Nah, we'll just go all the way, sort of turn back on yourself almost. And head for the big lookout tower, as you can see. So it's just past this building on our right. And there it is, big lookout tower. Henyo! So, you know the drill. Jump out. Go up. Go up a couple of ropes. Come back down. Go in the boat. Job done. We know it. We got it. Okay, now we're back on the boat. Let's uh, we're gonna grab another boat upgrade. So go left as you um, begin, and left again, and then go to the end, and then we're gonna turn not right down here, but it's the right on the next one. So you got these big bunch of leaves on the right. There we go. There we go. A couple of bricks falling as well. Watch your noggin. Go to the right here, and in fact you can already see the boat upgrade. So. Make sure to pick that one up. Now you should be on a tasty, delicious 7 out of 26. So, meh, life's good. Right, turn left here and get the fudge on out of here. We're going for the big lookout tower type thing. Right in the middle of us, straight ahead, so go nuts.
And swing your butt back down. Let's go back on the boat and have another adventurous time. Okay, from here we're going to go left. And as you can probably just see in the distance, of course it might be day or night for you, but in the distance you can just see a whole bunch of trees. That's what we're going for. Here's the British American uh, tea slash oil slash for some reason everyone wants a war debate. Um, I do get out the telescope. Um, now there is another location added to the map. Now for some reason, before I was able to scan the big pillar on the on the right side of us, but this time it didn't show up. But it makes no difference anyway. It literally doesn't make a difference. Um, so, hello Quack Axe. Get out of my way! Screw you! <laughs> there we go. Get in my KFC. I'll see you soon. So straight ahead then, from where we were at with the pillars and the birds, there is boat upgrade number 8. Out of 26, then we can just turn around, and as you can see, the floating little lampy balls, you get your noggin in there, and that is another landmark completo. And next, we're going to grab another relic, so go sort of straight out of here. And then, don't go anymore, go to the left of these pillars, you can just see it on the left hand side. STOP! Okay, alright, we got it. Sorry, I had to tell myself to stop, even though I've already done the game. But, uh, make sure to grab this <laughs> next relic then, before moving on. And what will that be now? That's going to be number 6, I want to say. <gasps> oh, I was right as well, number 6 out of 20. So, <laughs> I did guess that one there. Right, we're going to go straight ahead. You can see the ruined building in front of us. I mean, they're all ruined, but this particular ruined building straight in front of us. And we're going to do a little bit of exploring, exploring. And the way to do that is take your time. No need to crash and die. Not yet, anyway. We've got plenty of exploring to do before we can crash and die. Right, with these bridges, uh, again, it, you don't have to move. You've just got to literally um, just dr drive the boat and it'll lock in perfectly. I don't know what Tiku Miku Paku, whatever the hell she's doing. I know how to drive straight, love. No, th thanks very much, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And she wants a tip from it as well. She must be American. You all, all, you, all you Americans want a tip. Tell your bosses to pay you better. Stop being douchebag bosses. Pay your staff better. Can't rely on tips, man. Anyway, so when the bridge is in, we're going to go back out and we're going to go around. And we're going to stop right about here to drag this little bridge down. And after beeping our beeping our way back up, beeping our beep, let's go. So we're going to climb up this platform, jump across, and jump across again. It's incredible how these kids don't fall or anything. Just, oh, God, God must enjoy them. Oh, wait, that sounded wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, which it, eventually we're going to climb up these branches just on the outside. For some reason, Taku Maku didn't fancy that bit, for whatever reason. Uh, so jump to the right, and then... You know we've got the ladder, so we're going up. And you can see the you can see the uh, diary there. It's on the right. We're just going to go over the bridge directly in front of us. And that is yet another diary. Man, this is a hell of a collectible game. But we're an hour in. Getting through it. <laughs> Slowly getting through it. But that should be 13 out of 56. And now we can just jump back down onto the boat and have a, a vondiferous time. But of course, you don't have to go back down the way you came. You can literally... Nah, there's... Okay, no, nothing in here. No dirty magazines or nothing. That's a, that's a shame. Boys his age always like a good dirty magazine. Like, you know, a rock magazine, which has a bit of dust on it, and you need to clean it. That kind of dirt. So, back in the boat after climbing down the ladder. <clears throat> what we're going to do is go straight. And again, what you can see in the distance is... What well, kind of looks like an overturned ship. Or a ship that's about to be overturned. What it actually is, is a big rock on it with a bunch of big trees, apparently. That's, uh, that, that, that appears to be what it is. Anyway, we see the landmark there. We are just having another quick scout around, seeing if we can uh, find anything. There was a couple. Again, you don't have to do this. You can just drive to the location if you want. But, again, if you want to make it easier for yourself so you can have a look on the map, be my guest. Be my guest. Be my chicken breast. That's up to you. 
So we're just going to grab this landmark for the minute. Oh, it's actually a big satellite dish. That makes sense. <clears throat> Jesus, excuse me. I meant that makes sense. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, now we've got that six out of ten done. Really don't happen there. My throat just seized up on myself. Delicious. Right. Go sort of around. I think this is a bit... When it gets dark, it can get quite tricky to see. So you've really got to look um, in the distance. But we're going around the satellite dish. Which you probably didn't need to do, could have just turned it around completely. Now there is going to be a little bit of an edit here. You see the light in front of us? What I've done is just turn to the left slightly. So I've turned to the left. Now what you should see is just this building that's basically on its own. Uh, you know, in the middle of... <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. It's all in the middle of nowhere. But this big building. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of a... <laughs> Apologies about the edit. It was a bit tricky to see sort of where it was going. So I had to wait until it sort of cleared up a bit. But from where we were, just turn to the left a bit. Now, you should be at this one. Um, so what we can do is we're going to obviously go on and do a bit more exploring. This is where you should be at. Hopefully, again, hopefully the edit didn't make it look too bad. It was literally just the left ever so slightly. But hopping up across the platforms, of course, <clears throat> going across, and we're going to jump up. We're going for yet another diary. Grab the old Atlas Stone of Life. And then with that, I mean, look at them biceps. Rugged and small, but so strong. So, coming around, coming around town. Next stop, please. So, we're going to go around and we're going to pop this Atlas Stone Seed Stone down. That's going to open up the bridge for us. Beautiful. What he could have done was just climbed on those white rocks underneath and climbed up. But there we go. We're, we're, we're not too picky. Climb up on this red box. If you see a box with sort of red paint on it or any other color paint, you can climb up it. But there's the diary anyway. So that's another easy one. So that'll be three out of four for this area. 14 out of 56 diaries to be found. Yes, we've still got a long way to go. But as long as you are, as long as you've got the same number, you are still golden nuggets. Right, jump down, climb down the, 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 the Mr. Pape Dwine, Mr. Pape Dwine, Mr. Drain Pipe, and again, just climb down and head yourself back to the boat. Right, so time to go for boat upgrade number nine now. So. Uh, from where we are, we're just going to go straight. You see the big building with the globe or the dome on top of it? We're coming up this little sort of broken, completely broken building. And the boat upgrade is going to be just up ahead. So let's go past this one. And it's going to be roughly around here. You see the uh, monster's genital warts popping out of the... Um, I, I mean the, the, the genitals. I mean the, the tentacles, sorry. I, that was actually a mistake. But there's the boat upgrade anyway, just past the tentacle genitals. And that is, uh, yeah, so that's the ninth one. So we can continue going. See the arrow? Well, let's let's go where the arrow's telling us to go, is it? Nice. So with that, let's just keep going straight for the mo. And then slow your butts down. We go into the left of this big cathedral-looking thing. And here is the next main area that we're going to do. So... Um, we're going to go straight ahead there. You can see another relic that we can collect. But every time, again, obviously you're probably aware by now, every time you get to a main area, you'll either need to tow a bridge or you'll need to just um, pull something down, pull a bridge down or whatever. It's all easy, cheesy stuff, though. So you can't complain. So, Relic 7 out of 20 you should have just got before going into the Sayachen Cathedral. I said that completely wrong, but that's all good. Right, straight ahead of us as we keep walking, you can see the diary in front of us. That's 1 out of 4 for this particular area, and 15 out of 56 you should now be on. So, go ahead, and we're just going to jump back down. I think there's a couple of parts that we actually need to um, get to. Yeah, yeah, it starts doing that. The more, the more we get into the game, the more buildings are broken etc 
Anyway, we're going to do some monkey swinging. So PG tips yourself across. You know, PG tips, monkey advert. Only British people will get that if you're old enough. If you're young, you probably don't know what an advert is because you, you've never been, you've never sat through a 30 second, <laughs> a five minute advert, have you? You can just skip everything these days. Yeah. Back in my day, eh. Old man's deaf. Right. Climbing on the flowers anyway until we get up to the top, of course. And there we go. So, there we go. Good good climbing. Not a complaint in sight as well. It's this girl and this boy's just awesome. Go out. We're going down to the left. Uh, down the steps. And obviously take a left here. Climb down those beautiful looking flowers. And we're going to jump down. To the right is our first out of nine formal style piece. So make sure to grab that one before we move on. Uh, slowly walk up to... Do not do what I do there. There's a, a, still a couple of these big fat seal boys about. So don't panic if uh, you've just done what I've done and accidentally ran into it. But again, um, we're going to climb down the ladder here. Again, whenever, anytime you see a new animal, take your time to go up to it and then uh, press the A button. Uh, down the ladder there, you can see 16 out of 56 diaries now. So, <laughs> for some reason, I could not walk into a ladder. That makes me cool, gamer. Cool at being crap. Right, do some more PG monkey tips swinging. And then, again, like I said, anything that's basically marked red, you can climb up. Make sure to grab the formal style piece, the second one there. And again, do some of that. Page I tips, right, there's another seal here, so again, just take your time, be careful, walk up to it ever so slowly, press the A button as much as you can, and that should be yet another creature that is found, 6 out of 20 now. So, climb down, and across, and across, and up, boing, okay, jump up here, and we're going to go to a bit of swinging on the right there, so make sure to do some more swinging and climbing up the ladder. Again, a lot of this is just linear paths, but um, th there are some, again, collectibles that we've seen can be easily hidden. So, oh, hello, Mr. Man. You are just chilling. We'll just grab this uh, dead animal skull then. Thanks, pal. So that's your third formal one before going back on yourself, swinging over and climbing some flowers. Run away, seals! Run away! Ah! I bet it's fun to chase seals until they crush you with a thousand pound fat guts. Anyway, there's the fourth out of four, uh, fourth out of nine formal styles. So grab that before going back on yourself and climbing up these floors. Now, before going to the left, climb up again, go all the way to the right, and there's going to be your third out of nine. A beautiful Ablamissimo Flowerino. So. Stick your nut in there, mate. Ah, you look so pretty. So again, whenever you find 9 out of 9 big flowers, you can give them to your respective crush. Um, don't send nudes, because that's creepy. I mean, unless any guys want to send me a side boob pic, then, uh, you know, we can always compare side boobs. Nothing wrong with that, it's a male trait. It's a masculine thing, that one. And if you don't do it, then <laughs> you should start. Hmm, side boob. That's my side boob. Anyway, we're just uh, climbing for now. Nothing really intradasting going on. <coughs> Apart from side boobs. Male side boobs. Oh, there we go. Right, so we're up to the top. Uh, before getting the big male seed. Uh, male seed. The seed. Go around and grab this fifth out of five, uh, nine formal style pieces. And then we can grab the seed of life. So grab your big ball, and then we go go to the right. We're gonna pop. Um, in fact, we're not gonna pop it in anyway yet. We're just gonna go down the lift. Lovely, all these little flowers about. Ah, oh, it's it's so nice. It's so nice. So heading down, immediately we can see a collectible that is straight to the left of us. I was going to say straight in front of us, but it is to the left of us. So before going through, make sure to pick up that sixth formal style piece. Because uh, it's very easy to just walk on. Hello, Groot. Oh, they're basically all these people are just Groots, aren't they? I am Groot. Yeah, not no more, you ain't. You're all dead. Okay? Dead. 
Anyway, going straight, as we can see, we're in this new little area. There's going to be the seventh formal piece directly in front of us in the middle tent. Tight ting. And now what we're going to do is actually put our ball seed in the pot. <laughs> peace, hippie. Don't give me the peace, any you hippie. Right, once that's up, now we can climb up along with it. Climbing on up, climbing on up till the end. When Jesus walked. And that's all I got out of that song. Anyway, we can stop climbing up. We can now start finally climbing down. And we've got to the top of the CGD Cathedral, whatever it's called, the Saiyajin Cathedral, to find yet another diary. And this one's going to be number three out of four. Lovely. And then guess what we're doing? Climbing on up. When Jesus walked, etc., etc. So make sure that you climb down this drain pipe because there's a, another formal style piece tucked away very nicely in the corner. So that's number eight out of nine. So grab that one before. Now we can get, grab our big ball seed, seedy bows. And. Uh, wrong way, let's go the other way. Let's try the other way where you can actually walk. That's red. Keep going down. Again, let's go across the board. Again, quite a linear path, this one. I am not Groot. No, 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 no. So, go across the board. And just, yeah, there's just physically not a lot left to do. Go to the, uh, what we're going to do is go, we're going to drop the seed ball, actually. We're going to go to the right. After dropping the seed ball, do a bit of monkey swinging. And there's going to be the fourth out of four diary in front of us on this box right here, just lovingly. Right, so that's the fourth out of four. You should now be on 18 out of 56 diaries. So go back and pick your ball sack up. And just start, start heading back down the steps. Almost done with this area now. In fact, she's so good that she can just take her one hand off the Atlas Stone for a second. God damn, that's incredible strength. Right, another seal. Um, <laughs> uh, just in case you still need that interaction. And uh, here, you, basically, here is the end of the level. But make sure to go back on yourself first. And right underneath it, this is the ninth out of nine formal style pieces. So you should now have everything. Again, check the map just to be sure uh, before you finish the level. Uh, or you can just wait until it says all nearby objects completed. And then it's complete. Let's go. And welcome back. We are back at the home hub. Again, nothing left to do basically here. You can take a nap. You can eat a sandwich if you want. Or probably have some fish. Man, you probably get bored of eating fish after a while, wouldn't you? But then, whatever the hell we just run over, fish looks a lot tastier than that. So anyway, heading to the left. Um, left so slightly, you can see the big sort of tall a radio tower or something in the background. Here is another big rare animal. Like I said, these big, big rare animals um, will always just do one predetermined path around certain areas of the game. Um, so hopefully you would have seen that. If not, that's fine. We'll come back to that later on. Um, but obviously just try and... Or again, if you want, just wait until you've seen the animal so you're on the same amount of creatures uh, that I am. And then we can just move on. So going past the Eiffel Tower there on the left, you can see a big beam of light on the right. 
So again, just use that as a reference if you're thinking, where the flick bag am I? So now we're just going to keep going straight. And as you can see, there is another relic directly in front of us. So go, go grab it. Go grab it before some other douchebag grabs you. Okay, right, we're gonna go and grab another boat upgrade now. So basically go straight from where we were, big ruined building on the left. Uh, just keep going, we're gonna go pla uh, past the old black gunk, or black whatever this is, black tentacles. And just keep going straight, and then eventually we're gonna come up to a point where we can turn left, like right now, there it is. So, left you go, left you go, and there is another bow it's upgrade. That should be 10 out of 26 boat upgrades now. So now we can get quicker and quicker without gassing, apparently. Right, so we are now going to get another diary with Taku Maku Piku Wiku, the little boy. So we're just going to keep going straight for the time being. In fact, we got to go right here. We ain't getting past them in a hurry. In a, in a Ruby Murray, cheeky curry. Just keep going straight. You see this little abandoned uh, building, of course, with all palm trees over it. This is the one that we're actually going to do. So, up the stairs we go, Johnny, up the stairs we go. Cross the board, across the gap, mind you don't hurt your butt crack. Let's go to the right and climb, 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 climb. They yeah, might as well sing, it's, uh, it's basically the same thing that's going to be happening throughout the entire game, so you might as well sing. Get some entertainment out of, uh, <laughs> out of this guide. Because I can't not speak in a guide. You guys love me now. Eh, you love me. Back down the ladder anyway. And, oh, cheeky random set. He just chilling. Oh, well, I know where I've seen that couch before. Young woman goes this. Some guy goes, oh, I've got a job for you. And then ends up uh, with a camera and a face and other places. Yes, we know the couch. Anyway, we <laughs> climb down the ladder, go to the left around, go across the board. Nice cheeky little camera change there. Keep things perspectively interesting. Uh, but go around to the left. I climb back up the ladder. <laughs> and so they literally could have just got one big ladder straight up to the top of where you need to be and then job done. But again, that wouldn't have made for a very interesting game. No, you've got to climb about 12 ladders to get where you need to go. So we are basically almost there now. So one hop step, one climb down the ladder, and then climb across the other ladder. Jesus Christ. In fact, no, sorry. We're staying here. We're going down this ladder. We're not going up that ladder. We're going down here. My apologies. Nice cheeky random sink or whatever that is. Go through the gap. And well, can I just say, God damn, finally we made it. There is the diary in all its glory on the table, just in front of us there, slightly to the right. Bop. Ah, oh, thank, thank God for that. That is actually the fourth one of this area, so that's 19 out of 56 done. Now we can just climb down the ladder. And we can just keep climbing down until we get back to the boat. Again, it can be a bit tricky to see, but hop, skip, step and jump all the way across before jumping down, heading to the boat. Right, let's turn ourselves around. You can see this big giant statue thing basically in front of us. So you should, of course, be at the same point that I am right now. But go past that. Not too much, though. There it is. There's the llama. That's what we're looking for. That is a very good landmark for such a big head. Okay, so we're going to keep going straight. You see what kind of building's on the left with a bit of black tentacle on it. And uh, we're going to go basically more or less straight for the time being. You can see a big like, satellite or something in the distance. Don't crash into the building. doesn't make a difference. The boat can't crash. But apparently this is made of steel wood. That all ultra-ray steel wood. Um, but this building here is what we're going to do. Drive away to pull it down and get your bun sacks on that boy.
Right, trust L plan. Let us do some more. Uh, diary hunting. So don't go up the steps, go straight in front of you to uh, climb up the ledge and then climb down. Next up, go to the left, go to the right, hop, step and a step and a step. Skip and a step, I meant. And do some more climbing. <laughs> Man, these kid, do these kids not get tired? Are they not, you know, I'm, I'm tired just having to talk about climbing, let alone actually climbing up friggin' ledges all the time. So after climbing down here, turn around, go to the right, and then just do another <laughs> gap step, gap step, and another one, and climb up, and climb up, and climb up, Jesus man, I, I get tired watching this kid, maybe it's his cool ass tattoo which is keeping me going, anyway we finally found this other bloody diary, these diaries are going to be the death of us, promise, it's the death of me and it'll be the death of these kids. Stop going to lengths to read people's personal diaries. It's not cool. It's not cool. Anyway, here we go. Then we couldn't just climb basically all the way down now. All these uh, ledges and uh, ladders. Let's get to the boat. You should now be on 20 out of 56 personal diaries, which you can laugh at. Naughty. So as we get down to the boat, ignoring all the British American tea type stuff, to the right slightly is yet another re-like. So let's have a quick check now. So if you pause the game now, you should be on exactly the same with all the objects. 4, 20, 10, 3, 9, 7 and 4 in that order from top to bottom. So again, pause the video just to make sure that you should be on exactly the same numbers that I am. If you are, good as hell! If not, you may have just missed one. Um, which should be fine because it should still be located on your map every time you go to a lookout tower. So hopefully... Uh, if you press B, again, B, uh, to get your map up, you uh, should be able to have a look. Anyway, turn directly around. That is exactly where we're going. And we're going through this uh, big tunnel. The Tunnel of Love. The Tunnel of Muff. Ooh, <laughs> very nice. And here you should see yet another boat part. Boat upgrade number 11 out of 26. Keep going straight ever so slightly. Uh, we're into the town. Of life. It's not a very good town because it's all underwater, but there we go. Uh, go past the arrows, and here is another part for us. And yet again, oh, it's a Jasper, Jasper Incorporated. This is uh, another one of the main missions. So we're finally back to Taku Makaku, whatever her name is. So immediately go up the stairs on the right there and grab your first reed style piece. So that's straight at the steps as you begin straight away. Go across to the right and nip yourself up. Monkey boy, girl. Sorry, you're a girl. Triple hairstyle. Right, another land animal here, deer. So, oh, dear, dear, dear. Press the A button there. Again, there'll be plenty about, so if you missed the first couple here, do not panic yourself. But anyway, go to the left. Oh, no, I lost the accent. Go to the left. you got Groot looking at a tree for some reason. Uh, look at a standing against a wall for some reason. And then go to the right, basically there is a, just past these trees, up on the hill, is the second out of nine reed style pooses. Right, from here we can just go directly through the door behind us, grab this next diary piece. And that should be 21 now out of 56. So climb down. What's that glistening in the air over there? Oh, it's another flower. Grab the flower, make everything better. Etc. Etc. Thank you for the fr uh, thank you for the ad there, hail to the king. Much appreciated, buddy. Uh, but that should be <laughs> your fourth out of nine. I thought I unlocked an achievement then. I actually I actually crapped it the first time I uh, played this. Thought I'd unlocked an achievement. Obviously not. 
So that should be your fourth now out of nine flowers. So just keep going round, keep climbing back up. Uh, well, just go down here. Down, 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 ba 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 -dum. So, from here we're gonna go through the doorway straight in front of us, to the right, and climb your butt back down. Uh, Groot's still standing there. Buddy, you might wanna just get like a tree sandwich. You, you, you might, might wanna, you might make one of, like a tree and leaf. <laughs> anyway, go through the next doorway. Another bunch of deers here um, to get if you didn't get it yet. And I realise I just said the whole tree leaf joke like an absolute moron. So that's fine, you don't have to point that out. I know I did. Right, make sure to grab the reed style piece. It should be on the right side, just opposite the steps. And that should be your third out of nine. Couple of groups having a chill. And going, what is this? But we don't know. Climb down. And then what we're going to find when we climb down is another reed style piece to the left of us. Or the right of us, I, I assume. So there's your fourth one, and there's going to be another diary, so turn behind you, go past I Am Groot, and grab somebody else's personal diary. A lot of personal diaries here. Oh my god, he tickled my ball sack while I slept. I enjoyed it. Uh, okay, that's more than we needed to know. Thank you for that personal diary. Anyway, when you've got the read style piece and the diary, climb back up. Oh man, it's it's tiring work, but it's what we gotta do. Turn around, we're going up the steps. There we go, old monkey feet right here. He's, uh, she's, no wonder she doesn't get tired. Must be bloody swollen, bless her. Well, anyway, there's no doctors about apparently, there's no other people <laughs> about. Uh, right at the back there on the right hand side, there's the fifth reed style piece, so make sure to grab that before heading up the old rope. Again, if you end up finishing the main sort of quest, if you will, before grabbing any collectibles, you'll have to come all the way back out here and do it again, and it's just a pain in the bum to snatch. So remember to get all collectibles first, so up to the ropes we go, and we're going for a third time. Whee! Again, I'd probably be dead. I'd accidentally hit my head on the top thing, and, well, I wouldn't have made it very far. Right, another couple of things to grab up here. So go around, around, and around, and to the right, there is another reed piece. That'll be number seven, six. Close enough. Number six. And then past uh, I Am Groot, there is going to be number seventh in this big tent-looking thing. It looks quite cosy, actually, doesn't it? Don't have to pay rent. Happy days. And apparently, the energy supplies are not taking more than a billion pound of electricity off you, the f***ing assholes. Anyway, back up the steps, go around and to the left. We're going to um, grab this monkey rope, go back down. I don't know why it's a monkey rope, it's just a regular rope, but close enough. And then, right on this table here is the next diary, eventually. I did, I did pick it up, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> 23 out of 56. Climb back up, or wee yourself back up. Man, I'm, I'm a child. I'd love to do that. Um, and then we're climbing back up the steps again. So we're going around and up the steps. And what have we got? We've just got the seed of life. No, we're going up the steps to the right first. So make sure we are going to the steps up the right here. And on the right-hand side, little tendy bit, is the eighth piece of reed style. And then the ninth, well, if you keep going to the right here... Uh, this is going to be the fourth diary, sorry. So, close enough. It's the fourth diary. We completed something anyway. So I'll just wait for the screen to piss off before we move in. And there she blows. Okay, right. We are good, man. We are good. So go down. Now we can pick up the old Ultimate Atlas Ballstone of Life. Take your seed and put it into anything and anyone that you want. Apparently these are groups. Wouldn't mind a bit of seed in them right now. They have to wait nine months though, but that's fine. Right, we're just going back down. Back down. Heading all the way back down. And I mean literally back down. Yes, thank you for your kind... Do, do people, do, do these tree things only get happy when they've got the seed by them? I don't know. Anyway, what have we got? We've got, uh, we got still one more reed piece to grab. So I just had a little double check there. So again, make sure not to put this seed in to finish the level. Make sure that you've got all collectibles. 
And here it is then. So uh, that's just opened up our way for us. So spank you very much. Old Tentaclul. And directly in front of us there is the ninth and final Reach style piece. So now that we've got all collectibles, we should be good to go. Um, just get yourself lifted back down and end the level. All in the alert by objects discovered. Well, they haven't discovered the my pirate's treasure. Arg, 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 arg. For some reason, um, most pirates are Bristolian now. With a hint of uh, Mr. Krabs in it, for some reason. Anyway, let us end the level. So go back down the stairs. Yep, thank you. You too, buddy. Hey, you t hey you, you're a nut. Because <laughs> you're a nut tree. You're a tree nut. Yeah. Anyway, remember, press the B button. Make sure you got all the collectibles. End the level. Let's just swiftly move on. Right, let's go for another boat ride. I hope you're not seasick. I hope anyone's not seasick, by the way, because this probably won't be the game for you. But if you're not, then that's cute. Right, so we're just going past all the green tentacles now and all the few bit of warty warts. There is the big humpback whale that, if you haven't seen this one yet, make sure to be grabbing that. I, of course, have already got it, but that's just another opportunity for you if you haven't got it. Heading towards the old Eiffel Tower-ish. The old Kreifel Tower, the Crapfell Tower, we'll call that one. Since it looks like crap. <laughs> Pretty much. So I'll just keep going. Again, try to avoid not smashing into it. Again, it doesn't matter. We've got that ultra ultra rare steel wood type stuff that we don't have to worry about. So our boat will never crash. From here, again, in the distance, it can be a bit tricky. But we're just going straight into the black tentacle. And all the old uh, bubbly bits of diarrhea that's floating about, apparently. And just keep on sort of heading slightly down away from it slightly to the right and away from it just for the time being before we unleash the beast heading towards this big gap in the bridge lovely right coming up to yet another town but again we've got obviously got a few more collectibles and everything to grab so go straight here oh it's raining and man for some reason maku paku didn't um get, uh, invent himself as top yet Right, go underneath this big bridge thing right here. There's going to be the next boat upgrade. That should now be number 12 out of 26, which indeed it is. And then just immediately turn around and go back out. We will be coming back through here in just a hot second. Just a hot second. Uh, so just turn it around. Go past all the crates of British tea, which every British man just cries about because every British person loves a cup of tea. Made correctly, of course. And then straight to the right here... We can now just do a bit more exploring. Now, I'm not going to be saying anything. A lot of these little dudes' paths are literally just quite linear. So, I'm actually going to be shutting up now at this point. Um, obviously, sometimes we're going to have to do that. Uh, uh, flicking a switch in order to go on. But a lot of these paths are just quite linear. So, there's no point in me talking. So, I'm going to shut my bitch ass up.
So congratulations. So how was that without me talking? Was that was that good or was that a bit stinky? Well, I'm sorry if it was a bit stinky, but uh, you know these bits are not always too bad since the only thing you're doing is just going to a place rather than getting all the collectibles, etc. So that should be the third out of fourth diary for this particular area. Anyway, so let's move on. Let's uh, go left as we exit. X beat the cheat. Go straight. Go to the right here again. Take care not to crash and die. Now we're going to the left back under the sort of bridge. That would have been a nice car if it wasn't all dead and mouldy and stuff. Ew, he's got mould in his car. Oh, we've all been there. Not because we're dirty, it's because we've got bought crap cars, right? Am I right, men? Anyway, here is the big, another big, chunky uh, little lookout tower for us to have a look in. So again, you know the drill by now. Go up a couple of rope boys, have a look out, and then... Well, I mean, it, to tell you what, coming up here, it would have been nice to have brought a sandwich or something. Not in the ring, though. Although this is just British. This is just British weather. That's why I'm looking forward to the summer, because I can't wait to stay in when it's pissing down in rain all the time. So what are we now? Halfway done with the lookout. So we're getting there ever so slowly. We're getting there ever so slowly. So when we turn to the left and we can see this big skyscraper or whatever the hell that is just in front of us. So keep bouncing your way through there. Looking like a Mercedes Formula 1 car at the minute, the way uh, <laughs> the way the new cars are looking. Uh, you'll only know if you really enjoy Formula 1, to be honest. Uh, but if we keep going straight, you can see this uh, other building in view. So again, just make sure that you've got that in view so that you are basically at the right point, the same point that I am. And what we're looking for is another boat upgrade. So it should be just in front of us, which is there it is. So that should now be number 13 out of 26. So that'll be just, just ever so uh, close to this building that we're at right here. Anyway, you can just nip on now, drive to get the bridge on, reverse, beep, beep. And then, well, it is little boy's turn again, so we'll just be going for the one specific diary. So again, I'll rejoin in just a little bit. Again, I'm hoping that the paths are sort of... I'm pretty sure the paths are linear enough for you that you can actually just follow along a little bit. That's what I'm hoping, but if not, then I apologise. <laughs> Sorry. Twenty-six out of fifty-six. Well, my god. Let's go down the Dwayne pipe and get eventually, and get out of here. Well, that's the diaries for this particular area done. We're on. We've got thirty diaries left now. So, um, what's that? Not even halfway yet. All right, cool. Not even. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds horrible when you think about it, isn't it? Not even halfway through completing this game yet. So, uh, in the boat, go slightly to the right. Again, we're going back to big skyscraper country. Probably before the Taliban had their way with it. Again, douchebags. And then we go into the left, right in between these two buildings, right where the sort of uh, diarrhea warty bags pop up from the sea. Uh, go to the right. And we sort of should now be sort of in the middle of this area. You see an arrow just above? Uh, but we are coming up now to another part, and another main part of the game, actually. So, again, what you'll have to do, get rid of this gate, 
get a bridge into position and then we should be golden as nugget balls to go. If you want a milkshake, come to Thwaite Center. Not anymore, because everyone's dead. Right, immediately as we start, go to the right, pick up this first climber-style piece. Which will be the first of the nine, so that'll be immediately to the right when you start. Then we can go back on ourselves, go up the ladder, and get stuck in between absolutely nothing, apparently. Yeah, that sounds about right for video games in, in, in this day and age. You can buy a game for full price. Doesn't mean to say it's actually finished and it's glitchy and buggy as hell. So we're just going round for now. It's, again, this part is quite linear, quite chill. But before going up, we're going to go to the right and down to grab the second climber piece. A lot of animal skulls just chilling randomly for some particular reason. Anyway, once we've grabbed that, we can now go back and up the steps this time. Let's see. Let's see now. Let's see what we can buy with no money. Go to the right and hop over the gap. Crap the birds up. If there's always one nuisance, it is always going to be birds. That'll just piss you off. Anyway, a little bit of a hardcore freestyling parkour climbing. And don't run. Don't walk. Press the A button quickly. And then we get our 9 out of 20 creatures discovered. Now kick it. No, don't kick an animal. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I don't... I'm being absolutely lambasted right now for saying that by Peter and the RSPCA. I'm just, don't kick animals. Only eat them when appropriate. Okay, so anyway, go up and turn behind you there to find the third out of nine climbing style pieces. I'm sorry, it's just a joke. Um, and then, obviously, we can't get through the old black tentacle manga stuff right here. So, we're just going to go up the steps to the right of it and back down the ladder. Oh, it's the shortest ladder in history. Uh, we can actually go across the Thwaites sign, so go ahead and do that. Man, this girl is just so, so athletic. You and your brother need to join the athletics team. I'm sure you can do some good. So, up the ladder we go. We're up to the other side, but more or less, basically. Got a couple of groups there having a chill. Go to the left. Go behind. Go, go back. And now, as you can see, there is another skull just chilling, sitting on like a DJ booth or something. Um... No, no time for you, Black Plant. But that is the fourth out of nine, and now we can just go ahead and grab the Seed of Life. Let's go, let's go! Okay, past all the Groots, oh, but everyone's happy this time. Now, we can um, uh, go through, again, a couple of more Squirrels. To uh, have a look at. Immediately go to your... Well, keep going to the right for now. And then we can put the ball in. Chuck it in, boy! Chuck in that nuts egg. Right. Now what we can do then is actually just climb up the floors. Up this little hill. So do a bit of climbing. Then what we can do is immediately go to our left. Past this bit. Past that bit under the stairs and we can grab our chunky little ball again chunky little atlas stone for Tom Stobman and then where we go in right up them stairs yet again again it's a lot of talking a lot of walking and a lot of carrying but these these kids make it work right go through the old um whatever tree plant thing that's supposed to be and just, we're actually just going to drop the Atlas Stone. Before moving on, we're going to actually climb up this box. Climb down the other side. Which is obviously not where I was going there. But climb up and then climb down to the other side. 
and then just keep going around and there's going to be yet another uh, uh what piece is this now oh the climber style of course climber style the, f the, the fifth climber style so go back up yeah this red box will do fan just fan fan just fan climity climb and then what we're going to see is another flower so that's the fifth out of ninth flower as well so make sure that you've got the five flower and the five reed pieces or climber pieces whatever the frig they're called and then we can just go back pick up the atlas stone and go ahead Okay, let's uh, go up the lift now. There we go. God damn. All right, out into the outside world. A couple more groups there. I don't know what they're meant to be doing. And, uh, and again, we're going to chuck our CD ball back in the old ball pot. And now... Uh, and then we're going to go for a little swing ourselves. Whee! Okay, that was short-lived, but still. Up the steps we go. Homo sapiens. Um, jump up. Sorry, I was going to say Homer. Ah, I got that one wrong. Right, a little bit of climbing to do now. Nice. So if we go to the right here first and then climb down, uh, have a look behind you and there's going to be another diary for us to pick up. That is actually going to be number one out of di uh, out of four diaries for this area, but tw number 27 anyway. So that'll be the 27th diary. Now what you think we could do is just climb up across the left of the flowers and then just go ahead and grab the skull or the next reed piece, which is right there. But for whatever reason, uh, we can't just like jump down onto the left. So that's bloody annoying. So we have to actually climb down. <laughs> like so. Climb to the left. And then jump down. And we have to do a little bit of PG tips. Monkey swinging etc. Uh, do a bit of climbing. And then we can finally make it. So what we get here, this time instead of going down, climb all the way to the left this time. Yeah, uh, oof, climb, oh, it's just, it's maddening. Up, down, left and right, I don't know, who gives a shite? <gasps> anyway, down, 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 and eventually we're going to make it. Without spewing and be feeling a bit sick. Uh, we're going to go across this time though. In fact, no, sorry, we are going down, we're coming back to that bit later on. It's a lot of down. It's a lot of uh, a lot of goddamn climbing. But anyway, like I said, we made it. So skip, skip, skip the Malu, skip the Malu, my darling. Right. When we get here, what we're going to do is climb across, climb across, and then climb down. So when we get here, we make, need to make sure the second one there to climb down. Reason being, there is a nice little diary for us. There it is, already being magically opened by absolutely nothing. That's number two and number 28 in total. So with that, we can just climb back up, and now we can start heading to the right again.
So once you get down, do not go up the lift just yet. Go to the right up the stairs first. And guess what we're grabbing? Yet another skull. That is the seventh out of nine. And now we can happily go back down and go up the rope. Now remember, of course, there's no in-game sound because for whatever reason it just didn't appear. For whatever reason. So I hope you've got some sound so you can enjoy this a little bit more. But anyway, we've headed to the right. Um... What we're going to do is do some more climbing up now. <laughs> so we're climbing up and to the right, etc, etc. You know the drill and how to climb. So take it a jump, take it a jump, turn back around on yourself, go around this way. We're going to let the bridge fall down like London Bridge. And of course, make sure to pick up the next climber style piece to the right there. Just behind the building, that'll be number 8 out of 9. Then we can head down the ladder. Oh wait, it's a short ladder. So we're going to be doing some more climbing like this. And you can tell when the camera starts panning out, it's going to be a long one. So we need to grab the CD balls. So grab your CD balls, put it from this pot, and just put it into the next pot. And that's about all she wrote <laughs> for that pot. Yeah, press the A button. There we go. Okay. So we're getting there somewhere. So when that one goes up, uh, don't climb back up the ladder. We're just going to do a bit of ropey wee in. There we go, and now we can go down the ladder. See how life works out. Everything's conveniently placed for us, lovely. So go to the uh, left there, we're going back around uh, this time to grab the old uh, Atlas Stone. Damn, them biceps are strong. Go across the bridge here. Another bunch of squirrels or whatever these are meant to be. So again, if you haven't got the creature unlocked yet, make sure to do that. And then put it on this big, big, big switch. Yeah, I was—I don't know what I was going to call it then, but big, big switch. Go across the bridge again. Oh, hello, Groot. You just chilling, bro. And then we need to be climbing up and up and up. And at the end of the Ultimate Assault course, there is the next diary, which will be the 3rd out of 4th, 20 out of 56. So again, we're just going back the way we came. Just don't head down just yet. We're going to go to the left and go to the other side of here. See, there's a ladder, but we're going to go up. That said, a ladder. And there's a nice chilling random chair. Do some more climbing across. <laughs> oh man, my arms are so tired. And I haven't even done anything. And there we go. Climb up, climb up. And then what's going to happen is there's going to be a. Uh, as we claim, uh, claim. Climb the drain pipe. Eventually, we're going to get to a point where the uh, ninth. There it is. So on this one, that is the 9th out of 9 climber style pieces. And then we've only just got one more diary left to go. So, yeah, Bob's your nan's uncles, eh? And right at the top, for whatever particular reason, somebody decided to leave their diary out. Who's even doing that? Oh, I fancy a nice cheeky cup of tea and a sandwich. Right, let's do a shed load of climbing. And let's just leave all our crap there when we all die. Right, okay, cool. Anyway, what you can do now is just head back down. I think it's now time to finish the level. Yes, it is.
So there she blows, grab the old uh, Atlas Stone ball sack of life, and the old nut bags, and there it is, lovely. Again, make sure to um, press the B button, make sure that you've got all collectibles. And again, pause the game here if you want to see on the left-hand side all the objects. See how much you've got, if you are still on par with me. If you are, then fantastic. And that is the end of that chapter. Okay then, here we are then. It's it's another it's another glorious day in wherever the hell we are, in the middle of butt flub nowhere. This time we're going to go to the right, and we're going to go to other places this time. Okay. So what we're going to do then is uh, after we get past this building, head towards the light directly in front of us, and then what you're going to see, we're going to go ever so slightly to the left because we're going to see another relic. You can probably all see it jumping out. Make sure to grab the relicus. And that be 10 out of 20 relics. Right, from here we're going straight. We're going to turn to the left now. Always looks like, uh, sorry, not now. Uh, now we're going to go to the left. There we go, because there was another boat upgrade directly by the side of this building. Pick that one up. And that should be 14 out of 26, which indeed, indubitably, chum, it is. So keep heading straight. Just having a little bit of a think right here. Where we go, where we go. Where do you think we're going to go? Oh, that's right. We're going straight. No, to be honest, I think I've just seen a, a rare animal, but as it turns out, I didn't. So that's why I was having a little stop there, trying to have a little look. No, nothing. Because I, I tell you what, there'll be a lot of things that are underwater, and the waves make it look like there are some animals about to collect, but it's actually not so that actually just messed my mind incredibly right there so anyway go into this building on the right and again what we're going to be doing is the usual that we've been doing throughout the entirety of the game for the last two hours um jump it well actually don't jump here yet what we need to do is uh, grab the bridge and then do a bit of linear path in until we find the next diary with anku panku the boy Now she blows again. That's another diary done. Jesus. Oh my god. There definitely wasn't this many in the first submerged game. But we're getting through it. We're getting through it. We've got about an hour and a half left ish uh, to get to complete the game. And then we just have to do a couple of the missable animals at the end. So from here, we're going to go to the left. 
And, yep, just keep heading straight towards the building with a big tree on it. Starting to get into a nice routine, a nice, uh... Well, again, I thought that was an animal, but there was just waves splashing against the rocks. Now, starting to get into a nice bit of a thing right now. So, uh, here we are going to have the next boat upgrade right in between these buildings. So, make sure to pick that one up. So, you should now be on 15 out of 26 before heading... Uh, to the left ever so slightly to get yet another relic as well. Right, now actually, what I do implore you to do, um, we're basically, this is the area where there are a lot of swordfish about. Now these are one of the common animals that can follow you, but what I would do is before you go onto the main section of the island with uh, Maki Paki, Puku, Putuku, whatever the bloody Ella name is, uh, Miku, I think, um, Make sure that you have found these swordfish. Now, the reason I'm telling you why is because these common animals can, for some reason, be a pain to find at the end of the game, as I sadly found out. Because the swordfish are here, and as I went to go back into the boat to find them, they were nowhere to be found. So, this is obviously just a lookout tower, but definitely before you do the main stuff, go ahead and get the swordfish done. Always get the common animal in the area done before moving on. Like I said, the big ones... They always just have one predetermined path at a particular point. These little stupid fish can show up absolutely anywhere. And for me, they didn't show up for a good 20, 25 minutes. So that's why I'm saying, get it done ASAP. Get these swordfish, get the common animals out of the way. And it's a job done, so you don't have to worry about it and piss around at the end of the game. Going to be doing a little explorer with donkey ass. Uh, sorry, I mean Chink and Tinku, whatever his name is. So go to the left and then go straight past these buildings on your left. And straight in front of us, there is another building that we're going to go to. Another little linear path for him to have a little follow about. Somalian pirates, we Right, back in the boat then. Let us go to the left. Immediately go uh, to the left and sort of sprint yourself around. And just keep going. You've got these big buildings with trees on the left. We're going to turn left again here. Here. Sorry, it's right here it is. And as you can see, there's another relic to collect.
Now, make a little straight run for it. Eventually, there we go. Make a little straight run for it, and then when we see the arrow, see that big arrow? Yeah, follow it. Go right. <gasps> and oh my god, dun dun dun, there is yet another boat part. Who's seen that one coming, huh? More collectibles. Awesome. Awesome. I right, so just keep going straight, ignoring all the ducks and birds, run them over all you wish. They're, they're fine, they're happy to be run over. They end up in our KFC anyway, so it makes no difference. Right, jump up then. And we've got, uh, <laughs> well, almost jump up anyway. All right, we'll, 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 uh, we'll try this one more time. What we're trying to do is that. We're trying to grab the bridge to pull it down <laughs> first. So now as we begin, there's going to be a frog that we can discover this time. So again, try not to get to, oh, lizard type thing, whatever. Not a frog, it's a lizard. Uh, we should have discovered this creature then. So hopefully if you've been following along and you've had the same luck I have, you'll be on 10 out of 20 creatures now. Directly in front of you is going to be the first out of nine celebration style pieces. Job done. You're smashing it. Congratulations.
Thank you. 